sexual harassment and violence. It's endemic, isn't it, in the trade union movement? We all know what goes on, but the climate of fear means that a lot of officers feel that they can't speak up about it. It's a very sexist culture, and abuse is ignored and overlooked. When a woman comes forward about being harassed or discriminated in the workplace, there are very few options for her to fight. There's no way I was going to go to a bloody employment tribunal with these powerful people who've been bullying me. Some of the um, branch secretaries didn't necessarily respect the fact that a young woman was coming in. Um, I've had inappropriate messages. Um, and I think now that I'm general secretary, one of my key things is no other employee in our union should have to go through what I went through. I'm the co-founder of Can't Buy My Silence and both of us have fallen foul of the misuse of non-disclosure agreements. Myself, it was with Harvey Weinstein. You then become complicit in a lie. You cannot speak about your own trauma. It increases the sense of guilt and shame which all women feel when something dreadful's happened to them anyway. It's wrong that we put them in place to silence women in order to protect the perpetrators because there's no other way of looking at it. The Me Too movement really bolstered women's feelings towards tackling sexual harassment and violence. I think we've just got to keep that momentum going. Sisters to the Front is an organisation led by female trade union officials, for trade union officials and employees. We got together in February 2020. A group of attendees put together a chart for general secretaries again sexual harassment and violence. The most important thing for us is that people come and share their testimony on our website. We won't accept sexual harassment and violence and people that think that it's okay have no place in our movement. Mm -hmm.